micro is not going to be the same anymore unless Ron wants to come back and sit with you. Whoa. Whoa. That's what, what, that's what Jim always said. Honor to. Easy. Charlene is amazing. I feel the same. <laughs> you didn't think I was talking about you. I know. That's what I'm saying. Thank of course you, I know. Thank you. It's not me. Even I heard somebody nominated you for Heritage Festival King. Jester, maybe. That I would believe. <laughs> <laughs> How was the ride in the old car set? Oh, it was great. Thank you. Was it? Yeah. I was in tomorrow. It was only a two-seater. There wasn't any room for me. Thanks a lot. No. I well, the last, the last the parade, you won the one. Was that the whole thing? <laughs> Mike worked on his wealth as that day. I offered to trade places. If I did do any of that, I would say that. If I did do any of that, I sincerely apologize. I wouldn't wish that. No, Rumble Seed. I was telling you the funny story that Mr. Bell is over at the park. Since we're on table, I'll tell you now. But we have to remind me after we're going to do the last. No. All right. We're good to go. Is it official? Yeah, she was looking to be here. Good morning. I'll officially call this meeting of the Santa Fe County Board of Commissioners to order for Tuesday, September 20th. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, Heavenly Father, you said knock and the door will be answered. We are asking for your guidance in helping us make the decisions that are best for those that we represent. We ask your blessings on all those present and their families. We ask all this through your Son, our Lord. Amen. 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 Roll call, please. Here. 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 We have the signing of the journal. And accept the motion for the DVD recording of the previous board session of Tuesday, September 13th, and the written index of that meeting. And make a motion that we accept it as a one. Second. In motion and a second. All those in your <coughs> favor signify by saying aye. 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 Approved. Thank you. Any adjustments to the printed agenda? Anything needs yeah, to I need to uh, have a uh, discussion about the audit exit from okay. the state. Will that be under new? I would assume that would be new business. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, anything to add? Okay. No, no. Just kind of would like to have an update on the, how we're doing at the courthouse as Mr. Klaus run it on the schedule and so forth and so on. And are we going to have like an update, um, quarterly update, or, or something from our uh, construction manager at risk or something? Or, they yeah. send a weekly, um, weekly sheet okay. out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they, and then uh, I think there's some other, is there some other report that, that Quandle sends to yeah. later? Quandle's yeah. the one that sends out the weekly report. Right. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll start with that as old business. Um, we do have a leadership team meeting Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yes. At noon. Yes. Um, public safety building. Yes. Okay. Um, there's the updates that come on Fridays. We usually have any pictures or drawings or a little brief update of what things going on. Um, is there anything else that we? Well, we did receive. Uh, you know, just so you know, Fred. I think you got a copy of it. We did receive uh, uh, this phase two bids. Uh, or at least a uh, preliminary list of bidders uh, for all the, uh, the, the finishing product in phase two from the courthouse. They're still qualifying those, yeah. if you will. So we should know probably Friday, I would guess the majority, or Thursday, I mean, yeah, the majority of those people that have been awarded uh, uh, certain aspects of the project. Uh, so that, that'll be uh, quite an issue. And, um, you know, the one thing that slowed money down, everybody asked why aren't they on the job all the time is they had a uh, water company has slight water leak out there someplace and they're having to, uh, having to tie all around the new courthouse so that it doesn't, uh, <clears throat> it doesn't have any effect on the new building, it doesn't compromise the integrity of the building, they want to get the water away from it. So that's really an extra cost and uh, we talked about those changes and they're mm -hmm. Somewhere in the $30,000 yeah, range. For both of them. For both of them. 
Yeah. I mean, we had a hundred thousand contingency on that dinner. For phase right? one, yeah. Yeah. So we're at this point we're under our contingency. Yeah, just hang in there, we won't be. <laughs> what was that? So hang in there, we won't be. <laughs> Something else will happen. Yeah, I agree. I've never seen a construction cost project ever to come in under budget. <laughs> ever. Yeah, that's probably rare. <laughs> All right, anything else with the Justice Center? No. Okay. Uh, new business, let's do what we added so we don't forget. <coughs> exit, audit, audit, exit. Which well, the, uh, the state auditors have asked that we forego the exit review uh, that we typically have before the filing is made of the audit. Uh, it's a timing issue. Uh, you know, I don't think I really want, I don't think it's probably proper to reveal the three findings that they had until that audit comes out. So let it suffice to say that there were some findings um, and uh, we, we have justified those or understand what they are and why they are there. But uh, typically there's an exit uh, interview done with uh, the commissioners prior to it being filed, but because of uh, changes of uh, examiners or, or auditors from the state, um, <clears throat> they're having an issue with getting it done in a timely fashion, so they're asking us to waive the exit interview, to really do the exit interview after it's filed. Uh, they have reviewed with me and uh, with Stacy the, the findings and obviously with the audit staff. Um, so I'm okay with that. Uh, I just would think that we need, you know, approval of all three of us uh, before, we, before we waive that exit interview. Uh, and I would ask that to be approved. Okay. We have anything prepared to read or just, just a motion? Yeah, we don't need to okay. anything formal. No, nothing formal. Just, she cites it. Just something I can communicate back to the um, audit manager that the board is in agreement to um, waive the formal exit um, audit conference until after the filing of the report um, to meet the 930 deadline for the submission of the filing. Which is the end of September. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, At this point, what would the filing be? 9.30. 9.30, okay. okay. So we're talking 1st of October that it would be go public. Correct. Okay. I'm well, I, yeah, the, the, uh, the finding has have been presented to the auditor and... Uh, we we're not fine. I mean, maybe to clarify, findings sound so harsh. They're called material <laughs> weaknesses. Pardon me? They're, they, call, they refer to them as material weaknesses. Okay, no. Yeah, okay. I don't know well, which sounds worse. I, 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 I thought findings sound a little kind of rational. No, I think findings for recovery where they want money okay, paid so back, and that's were, not were, it at all. Yeah. There oh. were three. There were three material weaknesses. There you go. I will. Uh, uh, I will go over those because they are confidential before it's published. I'll go over those with both of you. Let you know exactly what they are, um, um, and then when it's public, information will make it available. And just to expand on that, it was more procedural thing, so, and um, just the retrieval of the data. So um, I don't want to mislead the public right now thinking that it's it's something more than it is. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that right away when I heard that. And I agree, it's material weaknesses, not, not findings. There's no wrongdoing right. here. It, it's, an, it's the auditor's responsibility to, when they audit, yeah, they're going to find something. You know, material weaknesses, I guess, was uh, certainly a better okay. word for it. That's their job. They have to find something that we haven't quite dotted an I or crossed the T. Well, and their standards have gotten stricter, too. So things that maybe um, could have been, as he said yesterday, could have maybe been redirected and in more of a letter statement, they're required now to put them as a uh, material weakness. So anyways, they want to waive the exit, um, and uh, I, I think that after our discussion, I'm okay with it, and I would ask consent to do that. And, and, and I would be okay with it, too, because again, it's going to come up, the material weaknesses will come out when the audit is, is published it's the 1st of October, and no smoking gun here by any means. Okay. Okay. Do we need a formal motion and a vote? No. Okay, I agree as well. Thanks. Okay. No problem. Thank you for sharing that yeah. information. Thank you for the update, Commissioner. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay. No further, I guess, we're in new business. Continue with the first start. Bill vouchers, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Bill vouchers, batch number 20747 through 20749, and batch number 20. 
512. I have a supplement to the permit appropriation to the Sheriff's Community Corrections Grant Fund, putting 22 cents into other expense. It's, uh, we have to return 22 cents to the state for the grant. We spent more on money. <laughs> we spent more on ink to get that in there. The stamp is. I know. We just spent more hourly wage talking about it. <laughs> 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 I have a supplement to the permit appropriations to the Community Corrections Grant uh, SFY 17. Uh, putting 88 dollars and 93 cents into workers' comp. We have an appropriation adjustment within the general fund, moving $1,545.53 from contract services to equipment. And this is at the request of the sheriff. It looks like purchase of a 20-inch uh, furniture to clean the jail floors. Well, finish it. Something, yeah. Um, I have a resolution authorizing an appropriation adjustment within the capital projects fund, uh, moving 20200 from contingencies to annex. I have a supplement to the <coughs> appropriation to the general fund, putting a total of $1,253.12 uh, into the various salary lines. This is for the clerk of courts. Uh, remember the first of the year when we we allow budgets to do um, raises of either 3% or 50 cents, whichever was greater. Sure. In her initial budget, she just used uh, 3%, and because we were short on time, we didn't adjust it. So this is her adjustment for the um, 50 cents, because all of her staff made under, under that amount and got 50 cents. So okay. that was her adjustment. A resolution accepting the resignation of uh, Jade Meisen as an intermittent maintenance worker for the Seneca <coughs> County Maintenance Department through the TANF Youth Employment Program, effective <coughs> 2nd, 2016. Uh, she worked out to Job and Family Services, helping them out there. I have a resolution authorizing a contract service agreement with NCOESC to provide all necessary appropriate staff and instruction for the Seneca County Youth Center. They've had this contract before, so this is a, a renewal. And that's all the resolutions I have. I would move for approval, and I will second that. Okay. Motion and second for approval of all resolutions as stated. Okay. Comments, questions, concerns? Seeing none, call the roll, please. Mr. Kirschberg? Yes. Mr. Zoller? Yes. Mr. Stacy? Yes. I'll stand for proof. Thank you. Okay. Um, opportunity for citizens' comments at this time. Are there any? David. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Tell us something. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there'll be any questions. Be a little more <laughs> informative than the last time we were here. You already know about Horton, so you know, what else? Yeah, see? That's, so a lot of exciting things going on, you know, here just periodically, it's like a recap. I know you all uh, follow everything going on, but the boards last night will be great uh, as, we, as the retail momentum continues, which is great from a sales tax perspective as we want to keep money that's leaving the community, staying here in the community. And Jolly's, of course, <coughs> downtown, so we're, we're happy to have them as well. Um, happy to get the half a million dollar in grant funds uh, that we did for uh, for different Seneca County uh, through the Community Development Block Grant Program, which is exciting. Uh, Arnold Machine, two point six million dollar announcement, twenty new jobs. They um, we were in serious competition with the uh, uh, down in Tennessee because a lot of their business is uh, oil and gas and other things in the South. So uh, we were excited that they didn't want to <laughs> expand down there. And thanks to uh, support from a variety of different people, that was uh, was made possible. The purchase of the mall is great news, uh, $2.2 million purchase, and uh, they're doing some uh, immediate kind of stabilization improvements, working on the parking lot, working on things just to get it kind of in, workable and make sure all the tenants stay who are there, and as they begin, they'll think about what they want to do for the long-term plans. 
Um, so a lot of exciting things going on there. A couple things I want to make the commissioners make you all aware of. Um, we have our first uh, workforce development strategic plan session next Thursday. We have about 50 people attending. Holly is gonna is is is, is going to attend, um, as well as a number of other. We have probably a 20 plus private uh, citizens. I know Randy Weiser, among others from Lantech, is going to be there, um, and a number of other entities. School, we've invited every single school district from around the county, as well as Calvert, uh, uh, North Central Academy, St. Wendelin, uh, Fostoria. We've covered the entire county to make sure everybody, because this is going to be a strategic plan for Overbridge Development for Seneca County. Um, it's, it's me in conjunction with uh, Carol Kern and Beth Hamm at Terra State. It's going to be facilitated by, by Corey Stein from Terra State at no cost, and he does an amazing job. So very excited. The first session is going to be SWOT analysis. The second session on Halloween, no pun intended, is going to be uh, coming up with goals and objectives. And then on November 30th, we're going to come up with an action plan. Uh, a small group of us are going to get together monthly, make sure we're on track. And then we're going to get together everybody at the end of 2017 and see what progress we've made. So I'm really excited about that. As you may recall, the, uh, there was a survey that was done of 40 businesses in the, in the county. 70% of them can't find the talent they need, and half of those can't expand because they can't find the talent they need. So uh, we think Job County Service does a fantastic job, but we're not above and beyond uh, R&D. We're often duplicating other good ideas <laughs> and coming up with ways to think outside the box and become even better. So that's an exciting thing going on. Uh, obviously, following week, working with Charlene on transportation uh, as we work to finalize uh, within the county strategic planning effort a kind of priority list with details on all the projects that we can then go to City Tiffin, City of Fostoria, and as well as the county. Kind of have our officially approved list as uh, I'm excited about um, the, all the leadership that the county has provided in that area. I think it's, it's producing a lot of really good results. Uh, we have the, down, the uh, statewide downtown um, development conference going on uh, the week of October the 10th. Uh, that Friday of that week, the Manufacturing Showcase is going to be going on where 700 students from around Seneca County are going to get exposed to manufacturing. As what, and last year it was kind of the uh, familiarization tour with guidance counselors, so really kicking it up a notch, and a number of county uh, manufacturers participating. Um, so really excited about that. Um, Last couple things, the branding, the first uh, uh, meeting of the, of, the, of the branding committee to look at potential community branding with the county and the city and SIDIC and the chamber is going to take place uh, mid-October. Um, the statewide economic development conference is going to also take place that week. And then SIDIC on October 24th, we have our annual strategic planning session. So that's going to be good. So. A lot of things going on. Uh, last but not least, uh, I'll let you know that there are some exciting events going on. Um, the Ohio Manufacturing Extension Partnership on September 23rd, which this week, is doing an additive manufacturing conference. The SBA is doing a session on export assistance and many other things that we're working to get out to the business community. So we're really excited. It's a whole lot of fun uh, when, when things are booming and we as always, really appreciate the support that the county gives um, to the various elected officials in the commission to what we're doing. So, thank you very much. Yeah, two, I have two questions. Yes. We're just a little up to date on Larry Arcade. I, I get some emails about that. There's a new, I mean, we know about Jolly's going in there. Mm -hmm. uh, is there another uh, Greek restaurant? Is that what I understand? Yeah, so Put in Peter was announced about a month ago. And that's so going to go where the old Iron Gate is. Oh, so back in the back. Yeah, so, so kind of, I mean, it's 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 well, neat. This is a reset, too, of that, because there was a Greek restaurant in there for a month. Yeah, so it's, yeah. I, I'm really excited about that. So that's okay. going to be great. It's going to be kind of a, Think about it, Chipotle for pita sandwiches, so okay. you can okay. get all the stuff in, as well as Greek salads and some other things. So. Is it a chain or a local guy? <laughs> no, or? it's a it's a local guy, Fortis Diamantopoulos, uh, and I don't know exactly the background, but from the area and the families, so it's it's really going to be a great locally owned Greek family Greek restaurant. Okay. So I'm really excited about that. And talk to me about where, if anywhere, we are with uh, the potential for some. Building sites for uh, industry yep. or uh, great question. Prosper. So we've I, we've identified a number of sites, uh, twelve to be specific. Uh, we are working per. We had an economic development committee meeting. 
probably about three weeks ago, and the recommendation was there was an internal prioritization list made, and the re recommendation was is you should talk to a number of those folks so that your your top ones don't think they're the only fish in the sea. And so we're gonna we're in the process of talking to a number of landowners okay. about viable options, and so that's proceeding right now. We've kind of, uh, uh, in terms of a spec building, uh, we have, uh, we're working uh, to finalize, we have a, a builder identified and uh, an investor group that that builder is gonna be able to bring to the table. Uh, so there may be a small gap there uh, to get a shell up, so you get to really attract attention is kind of what uh, Fostoria has done. So we think that sometime, sometime in the next month, we think uh, we're gonna be you know making some public statements about going forward <coughs> and that. And, we're going to be reaching out to to, to, to public entities and, and the bank community about how we can fill some of those gaps. So uh, I'll be I'll, very apropos. I'll be contacting uh, um, the commission and others in, in relative short order to look at some of the some of the options because the county and the city, among others, have been and the local bank community have been very supportive in the past of industrial development. It really made a difference because it wouldn't have happened um, the existing parks that whether it's airport industrial park. In the, in the township or it's uh, North Star and Eagle Rock. Without the county and the city and, and others, it just wouldn't well, one of our One of our specific goals in the strategic plan is to be part of uh, uh, you know, increased industrial activity. So I certainly would feel like <coughs> that we want to accomplish. Yep, so I'm hoping within the next month or so we can get down and have a specific proposal and move forward on it. So I'm really excited about that because it's one of the, I think the county very rightly identified that as a priority issue because we got a lot of people want to come here, and we just don't have the capacity. So we're excited about the progress that's been made. Yeah, well, we got the highest rating we possibly could from uh, American Electric Power. Is that what it was for yeah. land? That was yeah, we, there, we, so. we 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 were able to. American Electric Power funded us getting certified by private consultants. I really say it's shovel ready job, right? You got water and sewer capacity. You got a great pro business environment you got the other utilities and infrastructure that you need you know food processing quality which food I processing quality highest. which is a, a step above general manufacturing which right. is also a part of that so you, commissioner Kirshner, you're absolutely right so yeah we're, we're all the all the things are getting put in place to uh, to excel um, in, in, in being able to either provide a larger space for our existing companies to grow and to be able to provide new homes for other corporate citizens who aren't here yet so very uh, that to me, having done industrial development for 20 years, that really gets my blood pumping. So it's going to be exciting yeah. to see that stuff go up. Well, it's a great story. I mean, you know, for years we talked about if we continue to develop the industrial sector, that the retail will follow, and that's becoming it's a reality. Exactly what's and, happened. Um, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Okay, David, when did you say the strategic plan was? And what day and what time? For the workforce development strategic plan, it will be the first session is next Thursday. That will take Excited. place from Excited. Excited. October 24th. 24th. Oh, October 24th. The, yes. Morning, though, half day? It'll be a half day, 8 to noon. We'll have lunch after. Yep. We'll do an hour of a board meeting, and then 9 to 12 we'll do strategic plan. Heidelberg? Yes. That's okay. Yep. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else for citizens' comments? Thank you, David. Thank you, Ali. Okay, Move for adjournment. I second that. Motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor, say aye. 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 We stand adjourned at 10 <laughs> 20 30. We're working on our schedule.